Hey Aries, it's Mara Bird. Welcome to Daughter of Winter Row. This is a career read for you. I'm very excited. It's a new spread. I've always kind of done, um, actually I want some of this, sorry. Should have done it before I got on with you, but. Mm. They, um, they were like, why don't you try out a spread? Cause I always kind of like willy nilly it and let the cards fall where they may. I don't like having everything in like a certain, what have you, but this is kind of like, I can put it any way I want, but it's the questions and I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be a really effective spread. So let's jump into this, okay? All right. Oh, can you tell my energy is so much better than last week? I know I can. And I'm in Aries energy, so I'm loving that fire, right? We've got that full moon coming up. So just be careful, because I'm being very cognizant myself of this, is that, you know, things can get a little fiery. There's definitely some astrological aspects that don't favor uh, this particular full moon when it comes to, like, communication and stuff. At least we're getting out of that Mercury retrograde, though, although we're still going to be in the pre-shadow for a couple of weeks. But as you can tell, I'm actually able to get my, I'm still going to flub up every once in a while, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was last week. So your goal for work, this is a career read, you take it as it resonates, but um, it's a career challenges spread. So what is your goal with work? I'm using like five different decks. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Sweat Lodge. Okay. The Sweat Lodge. That's really interesting. So it feels like to me that you're really trying to, oh, I'm getting a, I was going to say like go in and be hermit, but I just a honing down. Yeah. I'm getting a honing down, like a really like there's all of this. There's so many things that you could do, endless possibilities, endless skies, really, you know, the clouds up here, right? Being able to see the clouds and see them form into different things, a lot of ideas, a lot of creation energy, which is a fire, right? So using that fire, but now it's like getting laser focus. It's honing it down and saying, okay, the eye you're making, you're creating your own eye of the needle. I love that, Aries. I love that so much. So yeah, just really trying to narrow your focus, niche down so that you're not wasting anything, that you're not expending any energy that you can be trying um it's very uh, capricorn actually actually i would say it's very arian as well um because aries is all about like getting to the center of things like you can't tell an aries not to do something right in fact if you want aries to do something then do something tell them not to do it or that they can't and then they'll do it to like the nth degree but don't like ask like you know what i mean don't expect it anyways i digress so the next question here or the next Question, yeah, the next question we have here is what is your biggest challenge in work? And so I'm going to be using tarot for this. They, they gave me which decks to use, which is really cool. I'm really excited. So what's your biggest challenge in work, Aries? Is the Hierophant. <laughs> shocker, shocker. <laughs> your biggest challenge is you don't want to work for anybody else. Your challenge is big brother. Your challenge is having to go by the rules and do things by what everybody else tells you what to do, what the standard is. Like the, the higher font is all about uh, bureaucracy and the red tape and doing things by the book and like doing them and going in a, a linear fashion or this is the way to traditionalist, right? This is the way we've always done it, right? This is your biggest challenge is like either learning to work in this, these type of, um, you know, areas of study or what have you, um, you just, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling like you have all these ideas. This is like big open sky. And this is like living and working in the cubicle in the sky rise right here, right? Like very, very different energies. You want to be able to be your own person. And I know it seems like really like wide open, but there's a lot of people thinking about this. They talk about the great resignation and everything like that. This is really something that you're considering. And you might want to consider it because they say Pavarotti shouldn't stop singing opera to go run the 100 yard or 100 yard race. You should really you know, kind of like Montessori schools, you should really hone, I mean, you should be able to like do the basics, right? But we should really nurture the things that are natural in us. And if it's not natural for you to, to go by the rule book or, you know what I mean? Or by somebody else's rule, let's put it that way. I'm not saying anybody to go out there and just start dealing drugs or whatever. I'm just saying like, it may be difficult. Like you may not want, you may be, I'm excellent at creating structure for myself. Terrible when I'm in um, you know, a place where they're telling me, I mean, I'm able to follow the rules, but it, I, I do it very, I lash out in other ways <laughs> because it's just not the ideal. But now I'm so much more rigid and disciplined when I work for myself because nobody's telling me to do it and I love what I'm doing, right? So definitely a big difference there. I love that. What's your, okay, so what's holding you back? We're going to be using the moonology here. 
um, and we'll get a, a little, I did the spread on myself and I was like, oh yeah, the collective is going to really resonate with this. Like some of the stuff like the mercury, yeah, we need to release this and whatever, but like, I don't know. I just like all the love, all the, the like, what do you, I just tell me how to get better at what I do. <laughs> That'll make things go a lot better. That's the cappy in me. Um, okay. So let's see here. What is holding you back, my friend? Oh, wow. I think they're telling me, I'm like, I feel like I'm just like, Aries, you might be really feeling this, this full moon coming up because it is a culmination of like energies and things, you know, starting to peter out the things that aren't supposed to be in our, in our, in this cycle coming up is like, you know, things are being stripped away from Saturn and all of the different um, things. I mean, Chiron, everything's in retrograde other than the, the planets, really big planets that are going, you know, forward. Um, as far as energy is concerned. Anyways, your what's holding you back is it's saying here, you need to take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. You need to rest. I think it's rest here because you see how fast I'm talking. I usually only get like this. Um, and you might have, I'm trying to think, is it what's next, Taurus? Okay, I was gonna say some Gemini because I don't speak this fast unless I'm in Gemini or um, or Virgo energy. So um, you may be like thinking a mile a minute type of thing. Again, this full moon, Aries moon, well, I guess all of my signs, I'm an Aries moon. And so this full moon really, I know the last one that happened, I was like really intense. It was like lock Mara up in the room and don't let her come out for three days because I wanted to jump down everybody's throat. There was a big Mars influence there too. Mars is in Libra, which can also, there's also that air, that air and fire, right? Fire and air. It's like really be careful with your communication coming up in this next couple of weeks. Well, this next week, particularly the next three days. Um, so take time to breathe out yeah you really really need to slow down ground ground if you need to go like instead of walking maybe you do a little jog like a lot of times it's like discharging just think of yourself kind of like an x-men especially fire signs like an x-men and that you've got to discharge like there's all that build up and if you haven't had you know a chance to like throw your spidey whatever your cyclops fire at something like if you're not getting that energy out and one way you're gonna it's gonna come out on your children or the people around you or self-destructive behaviors or sabotage or just going on a binge or whatever it is that you like to binge on shopping eating video games whatever it is to like because this energy is so intense and I'm really feeling it with you Aries okay so definitely um and I'm gonna take this this advice for myself as well um let's see here what's pushing you forward let's find out um, okay, we're using the Animal Spirit deck for this. I love you, Aries. I love fire energy. But I, I can feel there's like this, there's anxiety underneath there too, which I totally understand. I'm having to really like um, try and harness my own. So, because um, I'm making big changes, like big changes up here, like lots of realizations, like asking some questions that I just didn't want to know the answer to. I'm like, I'm not ready for that. And then I'm finally just sitting down and saying, okay, you know, and, and, and just letting it come up, like, oh, know your worth. Oh, uh, what's pushing, oh, wait, what's pushing you forward? Oh, I love that. I was like, oh, no, it's holding you back. No, it's what's pushing you forward. You know your worth, Aries. I love that. I love that. This is, this is big. I feel like this is big. I feel like th this is really, really big. I feel like you're very self-aware to the Aries that I'm speaking to. Masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. This is, this is genderless, right? This is career. The Aries that I'm speaking to, you have finally figured out what, and, and here I feel like the skunk is very small. I feel like it's very kind of like new, like it's on that flower, kind of stunk out the flower. It's sitting there like, am I pretty? Does anybody think I'm pretty? And now it's kind of like, I know, you know what, that may stink, but it, 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 it keeps all the people away that need to be stunk out, right? Like this is like being, oh yeah, being okay in your own stink of like, maybe I don't want to hang out with you. Maybe I don't want to have anything else to do with you. Maybe I've fallen out of love with you. Maybe I'm no longer like vibing with the social circle, like really being okay with going out on your own. Yeah, now it circles back to, are you gonna do the thing that you wanna do and narrow down your focus and walk through that pinhole, your own eye hole that you create for yourself, or are you gonna keep working for the man, okay? 
when we when we take time this is something I have to teach myself over and over and over again especially when we have a fiery moon it's like because I, I do and then the insomnia and all that other stuff but it really is it's like it seems like the opposite of what I need to do is like take time to breathe out I'm like no I need to channel this energy somewhere but if that energy isn't completely directed it's going to be directed and it's not pinpoint and it's not laser focus then it's going to be you're going to be like Cyclops when he takes his glasses off and you're not going to be able to control what it hits or who it hurts okay all right i love this let's go ahead and get some advice because i love that's what's pushing you forward is like you know what i got this i mean it's very Aryan, right we, we generally don't have problems with self-confidence and if we do nobody knows it well they probably do because we can lash out and be or like insecure or whatever but that's more of a leo trait than anything leos that like have the overinflated ego when they're really really insecure um no offense leos i love my pussy cats but i won't date them anymore uh, <laughs> what's pushing you forward no this is just your advice from your angels and ancestors okay all right i'm like maybe i should read these should i read these well it's too late for this one because i'm not getting out to get it so angels and can i get aries oh shut up sorry sorry they wanted to shuffle i guess i didn't i did before that it doesn't matter it's while well, I'm in your energy, right? There we go. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Aries, yeah, ground down, stag. Look how earthy this card. Just drink it in. Go for a walk, even if you got to go for three walks. There's times, you know, last week I had to go for three bike rides at a time because I was just going and I was charging out a lot of stuff. Now I've been inside for like four days and I definitely feel like I can go. Um, just like maybe walk and I'm not much of a walker but it's really more about being outside especially like here the weather is really cooling down it's starting to be gorgeous I don't know where you are I know some places it is snowing but trust and thrive trust trust Aries right we can definitely get into this very masculine energy right regardless of whether you're a, a feminine or a masculine you know being in that masculine go 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 type of being on the defense perhaps being on the like you know just having a lot spirit is just saying ground down, slow down, breathe. The answers will come to you. Go into that sweat lodge. Go into that sweat lodge and figure out what you need to do in order to make this happen, okay? I love y'all so much, Aries. Bye. <laughs>